Um, you've been on Stop the Music and you've had your success with your own singles like Bomb. Um, what do you reckon is your favourite song that you've done at to um, date? Up to this date is uh, this one called Who Better Than This. Um, it's really like slow sort of southern song but like it's the best one to perform back in New Zealand and oh, yeah. it was kind of an underground sort of hit there. So yeah, that's my favourite one. Nice. <laughs> um, also you were recently on MTV The Lair. Yeah. Um, with P Money and Vince Harder, and also you're going you're going on tour to Canberra and other places as well. Is that have you guys formed a new crew or what's that about like? Nah, that, we're just all on the same label. It's P Money's label, Dirty Records. So yeah. Vince Harder signed to that, and I'm signed to that. And P Money's his own artist, of course, yeah. on that. So we just always when there's opportunities for shows, we always end up doing them together. But that was crazy because I didn't know De La Soul was at that thing. Yeah, no one, that was No crazy. one told me, and then <laughs> I turned up and there's De La Soul just checking the mic and I'm like, what's going on? Well, you get <laughs> Did you end up getting to meet him? Nah, they were they were pretty in and out. Like, oh, yeah. yeah. Well, you get to you get to play at a little a lot of these like type of events. Um, what's the most exciting like who's what's the most exciting one that you've been on like and what other people have you met or? Um, like the backstage, the, the yeah. craziest people I saw was yeah. like, we did the um, Kanye West one. I, I jumped on Scribe's set. Wow. And yeah, I seen those dudes backstage. I, th I was even more buzzed out when I seen Nas because he just walked past me and bumped into me. And I was like, that's Nas. That's out of it. <laughs> <laughs> was Kanye freely walking around? Because at Good Vibes, he was like shut off, had his own little nah, section. I, I saw him, I walked past his dressing room and I caught a glimpse of him. But um, nah, he wasn't really chilling with everyone. But Nas was just hanging out, having having dinner and stuff, yeah. So how's it feel like, like being on the same stage as these guys and performing alongside and all these people like going, oh, I'll love you. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy, it's just funny. Like, <laughs> Is yeah. it something that you've wanted since you were really little, like you've always aspired to? Um, nah, I only got into rapping when I was like uh, 16. Yeah. And um, I always, but I always loved the music and yeah. I think I knew I'd do something within the realm of music, but it was only like, later in life when I started actually performing the music. So how did you discover like that you had rapping talent? Yeah, why didn't you become a bus driver or something like that? <laughs> <laughs> um, how did I discover it? I remember my, my friend, he, I used to always rap along to the songs and my friend told me, he was like, oh, you sound alright when you rap to them. And then he gave me a Souls of Mischief 93 to Infinity <gasps> instrumental and goes, write a rap to this and just <laughs> see how it sounds. And he said, I wrote the rap and he was like, oh, that's pretty cool. And then I rapped on a radio station, a college radio station back home. Oh. So if it wasn't for that moment, I probably wouldn't even rap. It was quite, yeah. It's nice. Cool. So you're going to give us a, a little something, something tonight? <coughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So before we get into rap. before we